good morning students welcome back today we are going to start session 10 prevent accidents and emergencies now first of all let us understand what is an accident as the name suggests it is an unplanned event that may happen all of a sudden and may lead to unwanted results like causing injury or hazardous results what is its meaning that accident doesn't happen by planning it happens unplanned that is it happens by chance and due to its happening it can result into causing injury to somebody or some bad results now emergency emergency is an unexpected situation a situation which we do not expect but it arises and it may lead to risk to life property health and it needs immediate action and attention there are various types of accidents which we see in our daily life. Sometimes their accidents are caused at the workplace. Sometimes people fall while moving or due to some disturbances. Sometimes there is a fire at some workplace. Industrial disease or illness can also be a type of accident where a person is working in a particular industry and he may get ill due to the type of work in that industry. Third is our road traf uh, traffic accidents which are very common while you are driving on the road or you are moving on the road there can be accidents on the road. Fourth is clinical accidents. Clinical accident means while you are anybody is in the hospital or they are being treated for some of the diseases so the accidents which happen that time that is if they are not able to be treated properly for that thing so that is a clinical accident. And the last is the sports related accidents. Sometimes while playing the sport, we may get injured, we may have sprain, we may have some other thing, some other accident related to sports. So that is the sports related accident. Next we have is, when does an emergency situation arise? An emergency situation arises when it threatens the employees, customers or the public. Whenever there is anything around the environment, in the environment or around out, around us that threatens the employees, that is they get frightened by something. So that creates an emergency situation. And it may also disrupt, that is cause disturbance or shut down the operations. Whatever the work is going on, that may be shut down. And it also occurs when it causes physical or environmental damage. Now we can see that nowadays due to the lockdown, the shops have been shut down. So somewhere it is causing some of the damage and people are getting frightened by it. So you can consider this as a type of emergency situation. Next is, there are some types of emergencies that require evacuation that is some type of emergencies are there that require us to move out when they happen first is fire explosion that is bomb blast or any chemical explosion floods earthquake hurricane tornado toxic material release that is release of any toxic gas like uh, recently we had a case of styrene gas release in one of the factories in Vishakhapatnam. So these are types of emergencies that require us to move from that place immediately. Civil disturbances like we have roids around the world or roids at some particular places. So that is also a type of emergency from where we should move out. And workplace violence. Workplace violence refers to the uh, things which are not good for us which happen at the workplace and sometimes there are fights between the colleagues and all so these are types of emergencies that require evacuation now the next is how to handle the accidents sometimes when the accidents happen on road or at some other workplace what we do is we start blaming each other so the first and foremost thing to handle the accident is the accident must be handled carefully without assigning the blame on others because in the timing the blame is put on others some other person's life can be at the risk second point is every organization must follow sop procedure sop is standard operating procedure that is a set of step-by-step -step instructions that are compiled by an organization to help the workers carry out the complex routine operations for accident handling. 
sometimes there are complex tasks in any of the workplace and they need to be handled very carefully so for that every organization has some step by step instructions so every organization must follow the sop procedure and this type of procedure is not only for these type of complex works this is also for the physical injuries as well next point is safety measures must be placed to prevent the workplace accidents there can be mishappenings there can be accidents but for this the most important thing is whatever the safety measures that we can place that should be placed at the workplace next point is immediately call the medical team for any injury if any miss happening or any injury happens to any of the employees at the workplace then the medical team or the medical professionals should be called immediately and then pay attention to and follow the emergency drills time to time the organizations provide emergency drills that help us to pay attention that help us to get aware about them and we should pay attention to and follow them next we have is the assignment part the first question is what is an accident and an emergency this we have discussed second question says name some of the emergencies that require evacuation this also we have discussed like flood tornadoes hurricanes all that you have to write down in the notebook and the third question says how can an accident be handled explain some points so you have to write down what are the points by which what are the ways by which an accident can be handled with this our session number 10 is completed and complete all your assignments in your notebook session wise